जय श्री माता जी वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरी वन लेट अस ऑल बाउ डाउन टू श्री माता जी प्लीज और मदर कुंडली एंड की ओर सिल सब बंधन Let us all recite Shri Ganesh Mantra. Let us bring our attention in our sastra. Shamata ji. Kindly bless us with complete peace and silence.
Let us now listen to Shmataji's speech. Then comes the heart chakra. We talk of love, we talk of this, we talk of that, romance, so much of talk of love in the West, which is never in it. But there isn't any love. It is such a love for money, love for positions, but there is no pure love. You watch, there's no love like that. So the discretion between your family and others' family is to be seen very clearly. You will know that you are doing something wrong. This is more in India than here abroad, that there is no discretion about the family. Like people are coming to see me. So a foreign couple would stay back, one by one they'll come. All right, couples are all right. But they'll not bring their uncles, aunties, their aunties, parents, their parents and then the grandparents and all that, together, never come in one line. They will always be grouped together, all of them will be on my head. I've seen. There's no discretion there that we are individuals as far as mother is concerned, she is our mother, she is our guru and we have to face her individually, not to take all this paraphernalia with us. All our relations, my brother, so my sister, so my this and that. So the discretion as far as the guru is concerned is an extremely important thing in Sahaja Yoga. It is beyond me to explain to you how the gravity acts through Nabi. No doubt. But through your heart chakra, if you gravitate at people, or sort of what you call the charisma of a person or some sort of a nonsense, or the charmingness of a person. That means you are attracted towards something that is extremely superficial and not at something which has gravity in it. So, the discretion at the heart is to have a relationship which is so detached that you nourish everything, every part of your family. Now somebody is attached to the husband, somebody is attached to children, somebody attached to the dogs, somebody is attached to the only to the plants. It's very indiscreet. You should be attached to everything in the same, same way, I would say that you should be so detached that you are attached to everyone equally. Detachment doesn't mean that you wear uh, dresses or scantily, it doesn't mean that. It's the wrong idea. Detachment means that you watch everything and you do not get involved with anyone. You are out of it and you are seeing everything, watching it, 
better witness. This sort of love, if you have for anyone, you will be blessed by that personality very much more. So now the discretion of the Vishuddhi is another very important. The other day somebody came and his right hand was frozen. I asked him, what do you do? He says, uh, I'm working uh, as a secretary, that lady. So I said, what do you do? She said, I type, I type a lot. I said, you take to Sahaja Yoga and before typing you just say Namaskar to that work that you have to do just like that and then you start doing the work as if you are not doing it. You are just doing it, typing, you are just typing, that's all. You are not doing it. You are not doing anything. Some people say, Mother, you travel so much. I never travel. I'm sitting or I'm walking. Where do I travel? It's the plane that travels, I'm just sitting in the plane. I never travel like a superman. I'm sitting very nicely. Where do I travel? If I start thinking I travel very much, I do this work, I do that work, Somebody would say, Mother, you do so much work. I mean, I don't do anything. I tell you, really, I don't do anything. Now I'm speaking, all right. So, just I'm speaking, that's all. And this speech also, I'm not doing it, it's just coming out, like a radio. Would you say that the radio is doing any work? It's just a radio. Actually, I don't do anything whatsoever. So when I'm not doing anything, why should I feel tired? Why should I wear out? So this feeling of I'm doing this and I'm doing that is responsible for creating your problems of ego within you. So to dis use the discretion over this ego, to put it down in its proper place, are these strands of Ida and Pingra sitting on top of them, bring it down. And it's like a brake on an accelerator. So if somebody has too much of ego, <coughs> then the discretion, see, is missing from that person. He does something, things, I've done this, I've done that, as they say, Humpty Dumpty sort. And then he suddenly finds, it was finished. I was very stupid to have such, a, such an ego. So what does he say? All right, Mother, you do for me, you work it out. Finish, it's done. Of course, I don't do anything, nor you do anything. But if you just say, Mother, please do this for me, it's done. If you say, Mother, come in my head, I come in your head, come in my eyes, I come in your eyes, say what you like. I don't do anything at all, neither you do anything, it just works. Somebody else is doing, all right? You need not bother about that. Somebody is doing it. But as long as I am not doing it, I am relaxed and I am not worried, I am not upset. So Vishuddhi is a very, very important center. And for you Americans especially, American surgeries, you have to know that to be in the Vishuddhi means you are in charge. 
not doing anything, but in charge. Like these two hands are there, and you should know that is the Vishuddhi chakra which controls the two most important chakras, are Lalita chakra and Sri chakra. Just think of it. How important is Vishuddhi? How important is America? Just think of it. But nobody is aware of it. America, uh, America means Las Vegas and all these horrible beaches. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Nobody knows what is America is. What does it mean to be in America? What's our responsibility? All this comes to you when you allow your Kundalini to be up there. So you are absolutely detached, you are connected with the mains like this one and the whole work is done by the mains. You don't have to do it. So when you are detached of doing anything, of appreciating anything or debasing anything, or judging anything, when you are not at all doing all this nonsense, that means you are absolutely detached in the real sense of the word. So this works up to the Agya Chakra. We can say that all these discretionary powers are within you, they are built in, they are spontaneous and you have to just allow them to grow by meditating, by watching yourself every minute, every second, whether are you enjoying yourself or not. So the whole of discretion rests on one point, how far you are enjoying Sahaja What a nice thing! Like yesterday I was meeting every sort of a person, and some, some of them felt I was exerting too much myself. No, 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 not at all. I was enjoying all of them. Soja is a very big joker, very big joker. See, a person comes up to you, you talk to that person. It's a drama behind every individual. And you discover what a drama this individual was. No need to go to any theater or any film. Every personality is a drama, very enjoyable. If you just want to see the drama and if you just know that, oh, you have to watch the drama, you have to see it. Only painful part is that as a guru I have to tell that this is not good, that is not good. That's the only painful thing. I wish I could have avoided it somehow, but it's not possible. Because from the darkness to the sunlight you have to come out and you are holding my hand, so I have to tell you that be careful, it's a very, very small road and both the sides you can follow into Ida or Pingda. So hold my hand tightly, we have to go further, further, further. Don't look this side, that side, that's all. And this is what it is when you have discretion to put your hand into the hands of your Guru. Then you don't do it. Just watch everyone, see everyone 
And only thing you do is to enjoy. Whether you do it or not, is not the point. But you are in the state of enjoyment, complete in the state of enjoyment. And that is the state we have to achieve. It should become that state as our own being. Up to some Hamsa Chakra you have come. And the Kundalini is now ready to open. Very much better because she knows that you are in a state. She knows you now. She knows you very well. And the Kundalini knows that you can now pass through Agya. Your attention can pass through Agya because you have discretion. You have cleared out yourself of all these loads and things and you can now pass through this Agya. So before Realization, those people who have had discretion are the best people to rise. They are solid people. Or those who are weak, again and again fall and rise, fall and rise, fall and rise, they catch again and again. So the discretion at that time is to know that you are here for your ascent, and for nothing else. And that has to work spontaneously only by just finding out joy and joy-giving things. It is not so difficult if you allow spontaneity to work. But they told me that, Mother, we have to do this, we have to do that, what to do this and that. Just leave it at that point. Just leave it and everything will work out. You are not doing anything. You are not really doing anything. It's this all-pervading power which is so efficient, is doing everything for you. There is one point which I wanted to tell you about the ashram life in Panita. You have ashrams and ashrams and ashrams everywhere. Ashram is a small world, which is a symbol of an ideal world of the enlightened people. It's not that only those who are having no house, all right, you have no house, come along, because you pay, can pay the rent. is meant for people who are of that quality. So now in the ashram one has to realize that you are under complete observation. So you have to be alert. Somebody is watching you, now you have come in the camera. You are now in the ashram. So let's start from the very beginning, as I said, in an ashram as far as the Muladhara is concerned. That part I think most of you have worked out, that you should keep an extremely clean atmosphere. 
I have seen some mad people, even in the ashram, start behaving in a manner that doesn't show that they are ashramites. Their behavior is so funny towards sex sometimes that I just don't understand. The relationship between the husband and wife also, either they fight with their fists or their legs or feet, or otherwise they are absolutely docile and given up each other. It is such a misunderstanding we have without Hamsa Chakra being enlightened, that we take to things which were so dangerous for us, for our society long time back, just for granted. And we start doing the same thing. If not go down to that level, but we try to keep company with such people, we try to so-called help them, whatever we try to do for them all the time. We are so indiscreet that whatever we try to do for others, anything, either there is some sort of a passion or a obsession, or some sort of a gain, or whatever it is, then it is indiscreet, absolutely indiscreet. Because you don't do anything, it just flows, goes to everyone. So in the ashram the life should be very pure, the relationship should, should be very pure, there should be respect of the elders. Those who cannot respect their elders will have a right issue with the problem, always. They must know how to respect their elders and a proper respect of the representative of your Guru. The other chakras are to be seen in the same manner. In an ashram, try to have things which are spontaneous not to have something artificial or some things your, your Guru won't like. Like, I don't want to see there some sort of funny paintings or some sort of a funny, suggestive, stupid kind of an emblem. In a household that is such, it should be felt by anybody who comes in, feel, oh, this is an ashram, clean, neat, tidy, and also ashram should be a place of peace and happiness and joy. If somebody comes to that ashram, he should feel, what a place I've found. What a nice place it is. I wish I could also come here. It's only your discretion that works it out, that whatever you create, whatever you do, is for the best. Now what do I do? You bring some water to me, I just put my hand. I do not vibrate, I do not do anything to vibrate, or just put my hand. When it is vibrating, now why should I take any credit for it? Just vibrate, finished. Do I do anything? Anything else I will see? Nothing. Just put my hand, finished, just vibrate. In the same way, when you are doing something, you just think that I'm not doing anything, it's just this hand put there. If there's some red on my hand, the water will become red. So what did I do? Nothing. Nothing. 
Now there are vibrations in my hand. If I put it in the water, it has been vibrated. So what? Let us now recite the Bha Mantras.
Shri Mahataji, we thank you for this beautiful morning meditation. Let us all bow down to Shri Mataji, raise our Mother Kundalini and give ourselves a bandhan. Let us all meet again tomorrow morning, same time. Jai Shri Mataji.